both, then you might have two dominant eyes. It helps you either way. Is everybody see what I'm saying? Is, has everybody found the dominant eye? Yeah, they have that way too. If that, if that way is better, then go ahead and use that way. Are you, are you getting it? Yeah. Oh, crap. That's not That definitely happens. I'm right there. So everybody has their eye now. <laughs> okay. I think that, yeah. So before we start, we're going to whistle blows. Can anybody tell me what two whistle blows mean? Uh, I know what one means. You know what two? That means you know two means you get you close. And you know, you know, you know, go to the line, bows on the toes. Good job. Now one. Shoot. Okay. I don't want to. Well, start the shooting process. We're not quite there yet. What's three? Stop shooting and we time. Or we don't feel you love making signal. Yes. Go get the arrows. Five? Murders. Okay. Murders is probably the most important one. You don't see it happening too often. When you do your five more with blast, it is an emergency. Put everything down, both back on the rack, behind the waiting line. Just so to make sure everybody's safe. Um, so you should know that. And we went over the right bows, the eye dominance. I'm going to go ahead and divide y'all into groups. I'm going to go ahead and do groups of five. One, two, three, four, five. That'll be group one. One, two, three, four, five. Two and then y'all threw it to be separate. Doesn't matter how many is in each group, everybody's gonna get the same amount of reps and we'll all have fun today and shoot some make reps. Alright, so group one, you'll be first. Hopefully into a target. Remember, stay behind the weight line, behind the weight line, very hard. We gotta follow all of us with those. We can't remember what we, um, we can't forget what we learned last class, okay? Where should your feet be in, re in reference to the line? Your feet should straddle the line. Just like Trey's doing here, but Trey, point your foot a little bit more towards the target, your front foot. This? Yeah. You got the right hand on the You should shoot left hand. Okay. Okay, do we draw the bow before he tells you you can draw the bow? Did you tell him to, draw, to yeah, shoot? Yeah, I do want to Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, he kind of got me distracted because he's that having happens, a position. You stop, leave it there, get another arrow. Oh, yeah. Do not pick that arrow up. <laughs> and, and why do you want to not pick up the arrow, guys? Don't want to start the line. Case of mine. It's my shooting. Yep. No, it's not my shooting. Why does mine stay? Yeah. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Okay, elbows up. AJ, elbow up. That's why you're missing. Draw it back like your middle finger to your uh, mouth. Hook, hook the fish. Hook the fish. Right. Everybody. See things that they're doing wrong that you can do better when you go up. Just think about your shot before you go up. Ah, see, we're getting the hang of it. Get the hang of it. Trey's got great form. Look at that form. See, his elbow is nice and high. Everything line. Everything really steady. All three fingers under anchoring. All three. Yeah. You, 
too, AJ. Make sure you straddle that line. He's still. Before you knock, Steven. Steven, get your feet back in position. Square your shoulders. Okay. Over the line. Yes. Yeah, over the line. Do we get a chance to shoot from farther later? Yeah. Takes a few of these to kind of get back. Put your bow back in the rack. Once you don't shoot, put your bow back in the rack. Can you imagine being shot by one of these? I don't want to. I don't want to get shot by anything. I'm just sorry. Why are you shooting me now? Oh. Because if I think about it, I want to get shot. Yeah. 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 Y
I, if somebody drops the class, I'll let you pick up their, their day so you can average your grade. Okay. That, okay. I, I wasn't talking about that, but thank you. But, uh, I was talking because I want to teach the whole class. I think you can handle it. No, now that we actually know a left hand and a right handed bow, like he was the one that caused that controversy. <laughs> you know, they started doubting each other is what happened. They were all, nobody would say that, well, I think that's right. No, I think it's right. And I didn't look, which I should have looked. So it's your supervising teacher's fault, too. So I look like an idiot uh, in front of Robert as well for not checking the boat. When I came back in here in the afternoon and looked at that, I said, I left But I, I was slightly upset Monday. I don't know if y'all noticed, but. Just a little bit. Yeah. Not a lot, just a little bit. I wondered if somebody's gonna drop the class after Monday. Okay, last group up. Group three. I think they're. Can you can you name the eleven steps without looking at it? Okay, you need to you need to be able to teach it. How are you going to teach it without looking at it? Eleven steps. Get your index card and go over it. Yeah. There you go. That is whistle. Today's going so smooth. It's going by fast. Yes, it is. It's flying. Yeah. We're going to stay in here for like 30 minutes. Y'all get to go play uh, scatterball bowling. Uh, well, it's a game you've never played before. It's in the back of your book. It's a one day activity. Y'all are going to go swap. And that's why we always have a curtain behind us. Wildlife and Fishery will loan you the curtain too to hang in your gym. In fact, he's gonna. We have one. We have one of the curtains. We just didn't hang it up. They look good. Hook the fish. Hook the fish. Well, you can you can just you can adjust it. You just gotta turn it down. Yeah. Turn it down. Yeah. Somebody else. Yeah. Well, that's true. The goal is we should turn them all the all of them all the way down. I don't know that the teachers did that. He told us when he brought them to turn them all the way down because to let them start because people had been shooting with them, so there's no telling where they're at. So Friday, if you'll get in here, you know, get them. Oh, it says it's so limp. She's like, I don't know what it is. I tightened it up and I said, do that now. She shot, she hit the door and she's looking at it. Try to hold that follow through. Yeah, I'm trying to follow through. Your arrow's going to fly off in other directions. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah
is point at either a simple object like the poster, the exit sign, something small. Just point any finger at it and alternate winking your eyes. Whichever eye you wink, and you have to point that. That's how it works. You'll see it move with your finger pointing. Whichever eye the object moves, that's your dominant eye. Did you get your dominant eye? Yeah. Like I point with the one that I can see out of? Cool. Like you point, and you alternate winking your eyes. Whichever one, whichever eye the picture moves, that's your dominant eye. What if I can't close enough? Yeah, you can close your eyes. You can't wink? Okay. Just try to make one at a time. That's not possible. Yeah, if you're blind, it's possible. <laughs> Has everybody seen to have gotten their dominant eye? Some of them. Sometimes it could be the same hand you write with. Just like, I mean, say I'm right handed, I shoot right handed. Sometimes it could be a little differently, but when in doubt, do whatever's comfortable for you. Everybody got that? Okay, well, without further ado, I'll go ahead and I'll let y'all shoot. And well, let me divide y'all into groups. One, two, three, four. Y'all be group one. Y'all be going first. One, two, three, group two. And then y'all be group three. Group one, can I get y'all to stand up? See if y'all remember these ones of love. We can't do two groups with this group? I just don't want to have too many people, like one person left out by themselves. Oh, or like two yeah. people just shooting. Yeah, we just I don't want them to have a group one. So we've got Making the line. But like those we got five and five. We got five and five. We could just do two groups. One of them can go. Then yeah, we can might get somebody. We might get an extra turn that way. You know? Doing it like this would that be them right hand or left hand? Okay. Yes. Yes. You certainly were. That's what nerves does to a teacher when they oh, when it's new nerves. to them. Let's know you're ready. That's what nerves does. So. You can go ahead and shoot all five arrows in your quiver. Once you're done shooting, bow back on the rack and behind the waiting line. Wait for everybody else to shoot. Okay, look at their posture, look at the way they're standing. See if you can pick out any mistakes they're making as though you were the teacher. Yeah, I okay, if, if you move your arm and you release, the arrow is going to move. Right? So you have to freeze and kind of hold your breath and, and just let go. Just let your hand go. You don't try not to move anything. And tight back. And you see the, the correct uh, draw length. You see how you dr the draw length? See the elbow is in line with the finger? So that elbow comes straight back in your shoulder. Straight back like you're making a line. When I'm teaching archery, I'm never back here. I'm always up toward the line because I don't trust any kids on the line, <laughs> ever. Here, dealing with college students is a little easier. He can be much more relaxed. But if, if you're dealing with fourth and fifth graders, you don't relax. You gotta watch that line the whole time. And, and if you got kids that typically don't listen to you, you put them right here, you know, close to you. Nice job.
Well, it does take a bit of getting used to. It takes about a hundred shots to get used to it. You know. Plus, you didn't, we didn't adjust it for anybody, you know, so it's whoever shot last. Whew. Takes a while. Okay. Yeah, I'm just taking a little while. That does, if you, if you arch your arm like girls do, you get hit. Nice. Nice form, Justin. Getting better. I don't know what y'all to do. Well, that makes. I do this, but I can't keep it open. I gotta do like this. It's the same as the gun. The I so You can I also do it with the triangle. He, he showed the other group the triangle. Where you hold the triangle up and right, you look. I never described it. This way. No, if I look and then I close my left eye, my right, my finger is still pointing at the target. But if I close my right, then I'm off. I can't. I'm a right-handed, right-eye dominant. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. You gotta have a nice little blister. I do have guards, uh, guards that the girls wear, especially the girls wear, because you're you're hyper. But if you hyper block your arm, uh, the girls are kind of their arms in backwards and they'll hit their forearms. Burns. Of course, you can wear long sleeves too, though. But, but I do have some little leather guards in the other one. Okay, you, if it falls on the floor, even if it falls on the floor up here, you do not let the kids pick it up. You tell them just to leave it lay, keep, shoot the rest of the arrows. When everything is done, the teacher will come and put, pick up anything that's on the floor. Because remember, they're like cattle. they got to move like cattle, all like little soldiers, back and forth. See where the feet goes to keep the target from moving? How do you carry them? Yeah, cover your... She's, she's doing it correctly with the fingers. With covering... No accident can happen. Yeah, that's going to hurt. We do have some ice in the, in the back. If this is class over, I'm going to get you some ice because it, it, it almost like blisters it when it does that. And she's got nice soft skin, so... You won't die from it, though. I know. I can't even hold that. And it did it over again. Like, I obviously was, uh, felt it. The string? Yeah. She's, she's locking her arm. And so her arms are like mine. They're, high, they're uh, real flexible. She hyper extends. And that, that happens very often with girls. Guys, they're so muscular, they can't straighten their arm all the way. So they don't do that. Yes. Yeah. Also, if you make sure your arm is up and not turned, that also helps. Could I've done that? I want to do a crossbow. A few hundred times. I think we only had two lefties. Okay. Make sure you follow all 11 steps, same as your head as you're doing it. Make sure you straddle the line for your yeah. stand. Pretend you're teaching it right as you go. Yeah. You, you want to act like you actually know what you're doing on the video? Right? The nice thing about the camera, if you forget something, you can edit it. Your job is to beat Derek on the video. Do a better job than Derek's video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to say to Derek, I've called him I was Derek like, ever since I've had him. It's like it's stuck. <laughs> um, Justin, I always told you the right thing, huh? Miss Joe called me Sydney and Sydney Destiny. Yeah, that, that's probably going to... Yeah, it's probably going to... Yeah, it's probably going to... Well, I always know I got it backwards, so I always try to do the opposite of what I think, and then that's wrong. Uh, I just think they stop calling Romero. It popped you? Yes, that's right. I can't do that, huh, Brian? 
At least I know you're Brian. And I, know, I got two mats, so. They're doing good. Nice form, elbow back. Okay. Kind of hold your breath. You know, tense your muscles and hold your breath when you shoot and just release your hand, not your whole arm. Try to keep everything really still. Okay, look, your, your, um, his stance is a little off, so that's what's messing him up. See, he's standing almost forward. Point, point your uh, shoulder toward it. Your left, your. Yeah, just kind of. And this, the new waiting line will be this black line back here. <laughs> yes, please. Be very careful. Does this mean I have to put some more else, maybe, Coach? Friday, we are going to uh, try to break balloons, I think. With arrows? Yeah. Okay. We're going to play a little. I think we're going to have a little competition stuff going. Should make it more fun, you know. <laughs> the good thing about this is kids that normally can't even participate in anything can do this, even if they're in wheelchair. He's even had people right, pull back with their again? mouth, you know, and shoot. That's a strong Drake actually has the right whistle. That's his actual whistle that they gave him. It's a different looking kind of whistle. To, yeah, get where you can recognize right and left. See, Katie had not been through the workshop, so you have to give her a little bit of a break. She learned everything from the video. I think she did a good. Yeah, yeah. She she had prepared. It was obvious. How was your bowling today? Yeah, she tried to keep picking it up. Like people would hold the ball. For so long, trying to figure out that she would say, like, you can't go to bowling in exactly. the second. That's good, because that's what a real person does, isn't it? Did she put in more than one ball? Yeah, yeah that's good. Good, good. Well, y'all came out sweaty, so that's a good sign. Does it matter where it's at? This group's moving a lot faster than the other group did. Were you shooting left? I mean, right. How do you know which one's which? Because I grabbed with my left hand and shoot. Does that mean? Okay. You, you go by your eye. Okay. No, I mean, like, which, which arrow do you use if I grab with my left hand? I would use the right hand. Or? I mean, both. I'm okay. Sorry. Right, right, a left shoulder forward, left hand. Right? That's your. Oh, I guess. On my left. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. If I pull back with my right arm, I'm a righty. If I pull back with my left arm, I'm a lefty. I told you that. You know, so, and I, but I, you choose by your eye. So I'm a right handed, right eyed person. So you could be a right handed person in basketball, but if you're left handed dominant, you choose a left handed bow. I pull back with my right, but I close this eye. You close which eye? This eye. So I close my right eye and my left eye. So you should be shooting with the left handed bow. Because you want to, <laughs> let me see, yes. You want to be able to look straight down that arrow and see the target. I look straight down that arrow and, and it not move. If, you, if you're looking with both eyes and you close this eye and then the left one, it's no longer pointing where you're supposed to, so you're going to miss the, miss the target. That's why you miss the target. Yeah, you have to have the correct. Um, yeah, if you were missing the target, it might be very well that you were actually have left eye, you were shooting with your left eye to your right, um, or your turn facing the target instead of pointing your shoulder, like you had a very open stance. Um, she's got a good stance right now. Um, very nice. You see how much better, but you were open. It's like your heart was pointing to it instead of your, your shoulder. 
And then if you look at how that bow, that picture is on the bow, that elbow and your arm is opposite of each other.